Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. I am running the Panasonic G85 with the Rode Video Micro in the hot shoe. So what you're hearing right now is the Rode Video Micro plugged into the G85. It's sitting in the shoe up top. And uh, this is levels at zero and the limiter on. So I just wanted to do a sound check, see how it sounds. The other thing I'm doing here that you might find really interesting is this is also a test of the continuous auto focus system. Now, I am not moving around a lot, but I am not using the iPad to control things and acquire focus. I actually just went like this. I took the, the sunglasses off and let it focus on my eye. You could see it's tracking my eye right now. I could see the crosshairs there. Put my sunglasses back on because it's bright in front of me and also then you don't uh, necessarily see if I'm looking or glancing to check something else. I look like I'm looking in the camera. Uh, but it seems to be holding focus with me just fine in this type of situation, which is what I need it to do. We're at f2.8, so as shallow as this lens goes as far as depth of field, it's a 12 to 35 f2.8 Panasonic lens we're working with right now. It's on a tripod. It's on the Mi Photo. I love my Mi Photo light and portable tripod. And using the video micro. So this is the sound you're getting. This is the audio from the video micro. And I'm just kind of doing a setup check for a video I want to shoot for something else, but I thought I'd share it with you folks so you could hear the sound quality of the, uh, the video micro. Let me turn off the video micro and you can hear what the onboard mics would sound like here. So this is the onboard, the built-in mics for the Panasonic G85. What you're hearing right now is the Panasonic G85 with no external audio or microphones. This is just what you can get out of the camera. Now, I'm not listening to it because I'm shooting this, but I'm assuming that what you're hearing is more echo from the room. You hear the size of the room. Whereas with the video micro just previously, it's a very directional mic and it's very good at putting a cone of pickup like on me, for instance. So you should have heard a lot less echo with the video micro and a lot cleaner sound than what you're hearing right now. And that's the advantage of uh, the Rode Video Micro, which is actually a fantastic mic for the price. I think it's 50 or $60. So if you're interested, I'll put a link below. Basically, I just wanted you guys to, uh, I wanted to share this audio test with you because it might be of interest to some of you that are interested in tweaking your audio or hearing how a, a shotgun mic is going to sound uh, and a very economical one, such as the Video Micro. Um, this is just a, an audio test for a different video I'm shooting all together on a new sous vide I've, I've got and I'm going to unbox and test for another channel. I'll put a link below if you want to check that out too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Once again, this is in autofocus continuous and it's on face tracking. It seems to be doing pretty good. Um, no, no killer for Canon dual pixel AF yet, but I am impressed. It seems to be keeping me in focus as I'm sure you guys can see. Thanks for tuning in folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.